Hey besties, how are we doing today? So, spoiler alert, a few sweet little birdies told me that. Not surprisingly, our girl has already failed Weight Watchers. So, I gotta see this with my own eyes. Not that I don't trust you, I just I just gotta see the excuse whatever in the world that could be this time, you know? So with that being said, today we are going to be watching what I ate today, Weight Watchers 516. 2021. I am just assuming this is gonna be the one where she announces she quits, so oh boy, we're in for it. Let's jump right into this, baby loves. Oh, also y'all, I forgot to do a fit check on my last video because that intro like ad moment threw me off, sis. I also forgot to do a tarot card, tarot? Tarot card reading. And I do want to start doing that because that was really cool to like see what y'all were saying. So I'm gonna do two at the end of this video to make up for it. And we're gonna read this bitch to filth today. First and foremost, there is no glam. I understand, sis, but like I've seen you kill it. And like, at least in for me, if I feel like shit and I put on like an incredible glam, you know, you can slay a wing. Like nobody, no matter how much they don't like you, will ever say you can't slay a wing, bitch. Because girl, your wing game, she's up there. So I'd love to see you slap on a wing, girl. Put some effort in, you'll feel better, I promise. This messy depression bun, sis, it's getting tired, it's getting old. We've seen her several times. Put in a little effort, do a cute little half up, half down bun moment, would love to see that. This pilly emerald green jewel tone blouse. It looks good on her, I guess. I can't really see it. I mean, the color is not really it for me, for her. I don't know what it is. It kind of makes her look drained and tired. But like, I'm assuming this is just a basic emerald long tee, so not much to comment on. We got the nose ring, of course we do, and no earrings. So with that being said, sis, this look is low effort. I am disappointed. I know you can do better, girl. For those reasons, once again, I'm gonna have to give this a solid 5 out of 10. Let's see what you got, bitch. I know you got it. Let's slay. Slay me, queen. Slay me. Hey guys, welcome to a new video. But if you want, can we try you guys? Try you guys? Okay, so today is day four on Weight Watchers, and I just want to say I haven't been, I know it's only day four, I need you guys to understand though, that's big for me, I have not been this successful in a very long time, even when I was doing Jenny Craig, <laughs> I would cheat here and not there, Jenny and Craig. Like that because I would film it and share it, but I have been eating way under my points because it's felt good, like I haven't been that hungry, so actually today i want to do a what i ate today it's like crazy how it's like watching the same video over and over again because <laughs> she says the exact same things every time she's like oh like i've been doing great like i'm actually under like my amount like whether it's like calories or points or whatever like i'm actually under and like i'm feeling good the food is delish like it's always the same thing it's like she like reads from a script it's interesting to me you know on weight watchers so i am on team green i am on the green plan which i get 93 points i get 46 yes. extra weekly points but if i don't go over my po daily points i get rollovers so i have like in the 50s of weekly points i highly doubt i'll be touching any of those today i highly doubt it so i'm really excited to show you guys everything that i eat today and i'll be sharing how many points is in the food so yeah let's go have the first thing i'm gonna eat Okay, okay guys so it's time for my first meal oh bitch do we have the same ring light that looks like exactly like my ring light we're twinning. I'm going to be having a cottage cheese. This is three points. Yum. I love cottage cheese. I like to add pepper to my cottage cheese. Okay. Always done it. Always will. Okay, girl. And I add a pretty big portion of pepper. All right. I also add tapatio. Of course, sis. <laughs> a little spice. Gotta have the tapatio, really bitch. If you have some pretzels and then use this as dip. Yes. So now that this is done. Okay. I love cottage cheese. I'll also I like cottage cheese too. Apple. I'm just gonna love I apples. Like that, but <laughs> did this hoe just give us a tutorial on how to eat an apple? Did she really just tell us how to eat an apple? Thank you. Thank you. So, oh wow, I never knew how to eat an apple until now. Until Amberlyn Reed invented eating apples. Thank you, Queen. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks, bitch. I'm gonna eat that after I eat this. Okay. So I have gotten some questions about. Oh my God, why do you get so many? Points. Weight Watchers has completely changed its formula. They're realistic about people's goals. They realistic. They want me to go on a 1200 calorie diet and then binge my heart away and completely erase all the progress I've made. They don't want it to be 
too restrictive. It's about the same calorie wise if I was to go online and do my TDEE, figure out how many calories I need to lose weight. So it's very okay. similar in that way. But what I like about Weight Watchers is I'm not counting calories. I'm not thinking about calories. The word calories is a trigger for me. And thinking of points in such a small amount, 93 versus 2,400 calories, it just puts less pressure on me. So also, I could get that. 500 pounds, I wouldn't get the same amount of calories as like a normal person. But if I was on Purple Plan, I think I only get 40 something. But if I was to do Purple Plan, multi-grain bread is zero points. I could eat what six slices in a day i mean that's potatoes is zero points brown rice is zero points so many things are zero points beans like i could make my whole chili eat the whole pot and it'll be like i just no weight watchers is amazing they have three different plans because everyone's different i love weight watchers i'm truly trying this time and i feel like i'm being successful and it feels pretty great oh okay the points right, okay guys. Time for the next meal. I am having air. Oh, I'm glad to see you're wearing a bra today because last time you weren't. So glad to see that there is a bra today with this pilly emerald shirt moment, queen. Just kidding. <laughs> so funny. I'm going to make a bowl of some sort. We're going to start with shredded lettuce. Love that. So obviously this is zero points. For the obviously. Lettuce. So I'm just going to use, I'm not sure how much actually. So this is the whole bag. That's a little much, but I'm hungry. So. Okay. No, not mad about lettuce. lettuce. Next thing I have is, this is Jenny O ground turkey with some taco seasoning. And okay. I'm gonna show you guys- It's a lot, but okay. After this, it's on a plate because I already measured it all out. So we're gonna add that. It looks like a lot, but now okay. I'm adding a serving of corn, which is half Yum. a cup. Love corn. See, if I was on any other of the plans, the meat and the corn would have been zero points. But since I'm on the green plan, it is points. So I have to measure it. I have to weigh it. Next, I'm going to be adding some Fritos. That doesn't seem very diety. See, again, like I always say, like take a step back from your meal. Again, coming from somebody who had binging disorder, take a step back and analyze your plate. Like a huge hunk of meat, a huge serving of lettuce, serving of corn, and Fritos, not the best for a diet. You know what I mean? Eat as much lettuce as you want. You know, it's kind of like a food that has little to no nutrition, but also is like low calories. So I guess if you want it for like the fiber and filling factor, work. Corn, love corn. Always down for some corn. I personally, would have said put that meat portion like half that is a lot of meat and what you don't need fritos girl you have all that flavor already in the meat there so it's like that's just extra calories you don't need the problem with these plans is like just because it fits in the calories doesn't mean it's a healthy choice because calories isn't the only thing you need to be worrying about when it comes to like health it's so obviously it's okay to have chips every now and then but why do you need to put chips in a salad at lunch when you're dieting you know really read out your meal ask yourself if that is a healthy meal if that's a healthy portion and then go from there i think that would be a great first step for you would love that and i'm pretty sure this was five points for a serving so not bad i just like to have some crunch so that's how it's looking so far next i'm going to add more salsa i don't have to measure this i would anyway zero points plus you know it's low calories i'm trying not to think of calories but it naturally just comes to my brain i love salsa Whoa! This is gonna be my dressing, if you will. So we have salsa. That's a huge serving, sis. Holy shit! Last but not least, I'm going to just add some raw onion. Okay, here for all of that, but like cut that entire bowl in half because you you need to learn portion control. Like in my last video, somebody commented like, isn't it really important to like learn proper portion sizes? And absolutely it is, 100% it is. That was the thing that was really hard for me when I was get overcoming my own binge eating was like learning like, oh, I don't really need this huge ass serving just because it fits in like my calorie amount because logically your body doesn't need that much shit in it. You know what I mean? Like you could even have all of that, chips included, I guess, but just cut that in half. Even if you have I just smacked my microphone. I'm so sorry. Even if you have like half now, if you're genuinely, genuinely still hungry, like your tummy is telling you you're hungry and like not just because you want to eat it, finish the portion. Work. 
It's all about learning your hunger cues, learning when what actual normal fullness feels like, because normal fullness doesn't need to be like debilitating, like heavy, like you can't move, like that's not normal fullness. Normal fullness is just you're not hungry. And learning that feeling when you're so used to being like stuffed full, super important. So maybe in the future, you could make this salad for sure, but try, like I said, just doing half of that. That adds really, really good flavor, in my opinion. Yeah, I love so, onion. I feel like this is going to taste mighty good, so let's... Probably. <laughs> fingers crossed. Let's do a taste test. Oh, this is huge. I'm going to be stuffed. So only eat half. I was going to add ranch. I know it sounds weird, but spicy ranch with, like, taco guts. Taco guts, ew. It tastes really good, I'm not gonna lie, but I was like, nah, I don't need it. But yeah. This is taco guts recipe. Mmm. <laughs> of course it's good. Yeah. Holy crap, that's good. I'm actually pleasantly surprised. I mean, of course it's good. It has like a whole bunch of junk and seasoning on it, you know? 10 out of 10 recommend I would try that without the Fritos mm. personally otherwise it sounds good mm. I'm going in so I'm gonna go grab me some water I'm gonna go put on something catfish maybe Grey's Anatomy sometimes it's hard mm. to eat while watching Grey's Anatomy because it's so yeah <laughs> I was gonna say I can't I can't eat while I watch like medical shows even though it's like fake it's still like eating while watching like fake like gore i guess I, I can't i can't do it girl i can't do it eek but yeah i got you and i'm gonna go enjoy this and after this clip you're gonna see a screenshot of how many points for the whole thing it was 17 points but here's a screenshot okay cool time for a little snacky snacky uh -oh. vanilla gone wild sandwich ice cream sandwich I can almost guarantee this is the meal that made her fail Jenny Craig. I know I'm constantly like comparing my binge eating to her binge eating. I know every eating disorder is different, but I guess that's the only way that I can like try to understand what she's going through because like I've been there. For me, I had to cold turkey everything. So if I had done this, salad wasn't the greatest, but I, she was still like on track for that day. But if I had thrown in some ice cream, ruined everything. I really had to cold turkey everything. And then once my body, I think it was like a month or two before I even tried adding in anything like scandalous, you know, like ice cream or something because at that point I was like oh I only want like half of this or even just like a couple of bites of this and then I would rather have like an apple like I genuinely would rather have fruit and that was like wild that was like a, a full body like reset it's almost like I hate the word detox because like it's not a detox but like it's kind of like a brain detox if you will like realizing you don't need ice cream every day it's crazy and now I can just like I went to New York earlier this week and I got a fucking ice cream cone bitch and it was delicious and I didn't feel guilty because I knew that I was just enjoying the ice cream in the moment and I wasn't gonna have ice cream the next day or the next day or the next day. You know what I mean? Like, you just gotta realize how to control yourself. You gotta realize proper portions. You gotta realize your hunger cues. Just little things. Little habits you can work in. It looks like this. And it is seven points. Mm -mm. All right, so it is time for my next meal. I have been up cleaning. I am exhausted. Good. Super Love thirsty, to hear that. So I got some cold water. Good. Love to see you drinking water. What has been helping me so far stay on track, honestly, is not having rules for my meals. My meals don't have to make sense. They don't have to be in a certain order. I just eat what I want. And That's fair. What's in your body? Place. So this is what I'm having. I'm having carrots, oh. hummus, salami. Of course, girl. And oh. two mini bagels with cheese. Pepper jack cheese. So carrots zero points love hummus baby carrots five hummus Salami, is good seven the mini bagels seven the cheese six mm, see it's like i can gradually see her going off track like throughout the day because breakfast that like cottage cheese great choice lunch not great. That ice cream sandwich, though. Let's analyze this meal, right? 11 slices of salami, 
hummus, baby carrots, melted cheese on two bagels. That's a lot of food. If I could reconstruct this meal, if you had to have everything in this meal, half a cup of baby carrots is great. Hummus, awesome, love that. Five slices of salami, one of the mini bagels with one slice of cheese. Could have been better and I bet you that would have been filling. Even if you upped your baby carrots from half a cup to a full cup to give you that more filling effect, could have been a little bit of a better idea. And you still could have had everything. It's just rearranging and reportioning, you know? Okay, so at the end of the uh -oh. night, I choose what snacks I want, and then I put them in this baggie, and this is the this is the only thing you get for the rest of the night baggie. So I have the option to eat them all at once, to eat them sporadically, whatever it is. First thing I chose, I'm gonna try the cheesy pizza protein puffs, one point. I'm gonna have mac and cheese potato sticks. You're points. not ready to be snacking, girl. I'm gonna have chocolate caramel snack bar. And that's a lot of snacks. Points. And a peanut butter pie chocolate, two points. Seems like a lot of snacks, but it's really not. Like these are super- It is, it's a lot of snacks pie. though. This is kind of like the fun size of like candy bars. So they're super small, two or three bites. So I put them in here and I know for the rest of the night, that is what I'm having. Yeah, but you ate them all because then your brain was saying you could have them and that's not so, good. As you can see here, I have had 59 points and I have 34 daily remaining and over 50 weekly remaining. I haven't had to go in my weeklies at all. Um, I am just, I don't know. I don't feel the need to eat all my points. And I know at this weight, I need to lose weight a little quicker than the average Joe, just for health issues. I'm not trying mm -hmm. to drop, drop like 100 pounds in a month, but I am trying to drop a little bit more than two pounds. That makes me like really question this program though because like she ate a lot of unhealthy things and like I always say like taking a step back like she ate like mostly snacks mostly snack foods like chips and candy bars but she still stayed in that like point thing right but like I wouldn't classify most of the things she ate as like healthy diet foods like just common sense healthy diet foods that makes me for me question the validity of Weight Watchers if if really like two bags of chips and two candy bars fit into their program for a diet program i have a hard time trusting the validity of that <laughs> a week which is like the average of someone you know who is morbidly obese but we have to remember here i'm super morbidly obese and i can get away with not eating all of my points like i still have enough points for a normal person's whole day of eating plus some mm -hmm. um but i'm not gonna eat i'm not gonna eat it but i hope that you guys did enjoy this video and i will see you in my next one bye So I guess she didn't announce that she failed in that video, but I have heard from several people that she did fail, and in my opinion, I can see why, because Weight Watchers seems to be a little bit whack with the foods they allow. What did y'all think about today's video, by the way? Let me know down below. So we are going to do two tarot card readings today. Maybe it's good that I missed last week, so we can have two and get like a really clear moment on your struggles this week. Let's see what they are. Let's let's talk about what's going on with you, baby. Oh, okay. So we have have justice, justice, and eight of swords. Justice is legal situation or document, police finding out the truth in matter affecting the balance. Eight of swords is frustrations, feeling bound and gagged. Girl, did you get in some fucking legal trouble? What did you do, bitch? This sounds like, like something happened. Like, did you get a ticket? I bet you got a ticket. You got a ticket, didn't you? These two cards together, not the best sign. I'm gonna be real with you. Another way to interpret those cards could be like, like, similar to the last reading I did, where you're feeling like a little bit trapped. There is like a higher power of some sort, whether it be like your boss, you know, if you're a child, like your parents, things like that, preventing you from doing something. And you just, you feel so like helpless. You just, there's nothing you can do and it's driving you nuts. So having this person above you and you feel like you're not in full control of the situation is really hard for you to deal with. Not saying you're controlling girl, but you're, you're a little bit controlling and that's okay, you know? Not a bad thing, not a bad thing. So tell me what's going on. Tell me what or who is making you feel so trapped right now. And then let's talk about how you can fix it. If you don't know how you can fix it, girl, let's talk about it. I'm always here to help you. You know that. I love you dearly. I'm your grandma. Bitch, I give the best advice. All right. I love you dearly. Thank you so much for spending precious minutes of your life with me. I upload twice a week. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe on your way out. My goal for 2021, 1,000 subscribers. I would be just honored, honey. 
Honey Bun, if you join the Grandchildren Army today, we want to have the biggest family in the world. Okay, okay, love you.